Alright, so welcome back to Shante Nasha. The playthrough, we're up to part 5 already. And, um, yeah. If you're wondering why we're in the um, cathedral again, it's because I fucked up something in part 4. I went to like a, a world of a higher difficulty way too early in the game. And also, this is the second take of me doing this part because the first take I did. I was like, the, f the, f the first take of this I did, like the volume of the game was way too loud that my audio was like extremely fucking, what, um, not loud enough to be heard in contrast to the game, so I had to turn my volume down for this. But I have played through these on another take and, um, I haven't played anything else yet than what I want to play. So I've played the first the the first two worlds of this game. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Again, because like I can't believe that this happened man. Like the recording of this is extremely fucked. Like the volume in this game is extremely fucked up. I'm sorry to X, and I also received some hints from X saying go to an easier level, do some other stuff, and I'm starting to learn a lot more of this game now. So I'm back at this cutscene, and fortunately I made backups of this save file. Alright, we're back to chapter 2. The adventure begins. And I still haven't done this in a long time, alright? But I want to know, before we start, I want to know if you guys want to see more of this game or if you want to see more Mortal Kombat Trilogy because <clears throat> I've been doing a lot more of those playthroughs of Mortal Kombat Trilogy so if you remember there's like 12 areas in this game so there's four here another four here and there's like four here and then we go to like this room here which I briefly covered in part four the other worldly staircase where it's gonna reset your magical hits if you talk to this thing, but I don't know what this does. Please help me. I don't. I, I bet this is gonna have to do with something at the end of the game. There's no other way that this would have to be at the start of the game. So, I, so last part, I actually had the mistake of going into this area here, and I was getting fucked up so hard I didn't even know where to go, and that was just bullshit. All right, so I'm not going into that area. And the last, like, three areas are locked as well. So we're going to go into the first two areas. South of Nylon. Let's go. And on my test recording, this was an extremely short area. Alright, but I'm going to show you all the areas. Let's play baseball sometime. Yep. Alright. So I'm going to go inside. And these are what these dream gates do. Well, it looks like someone has found my dream. Well done. For your efforts, I gift you. Please take it. I have a gift for you, please take it. May the four spirits watch over you, Jan. That was extremely easy as shit, alright? The next one's a little bit harder. It's just a genie castle. Collect all the stars. Alright. And you have like, what, 30 seconds to do it in? Don't worry, it's really easy. Once you know what you're doing, it's extremely easy. Alright. And there's a chest over to the left here. Right here, I forgot about that. Unfortunately, got a heart holder. Shante's HP has been increased by one. I'm gonna try and hurry up here because I already know what's up ahead because I already did a test recording of this. And uh Yeah. Because I already have planned where I wanna go. And we also need to synthesize as well. No oh, worry, this is like Extremely easy, and I know what to do here as well. You're supposed to grab onto these 
things. I always like using the run feature, it's a great mechanic. You just double tap forward and hold forward like you would any normal game. There's no run button, which I think is better. Then, um, and X has been really nice lately. I mean, he's been watching the progress of Auxiliary and Sacred Veradelia, that's what it's called now, Veradelia, Legend of the Sacred Forest, which is my um, indie game. I haven't been working on that in quite a long time because I've just got a drawing tablet and I'm still learning how to use it. Oh, that is cheap. I'm low on HP though. And I think if you get 10 of those blue things, you get extra health. So, I think that's what it is. Um, I don't know how you use special attacks either. Alright, we've got some health. And if you talk to this guy, he'll say, Mac, this is not home. Ah, oh, it's not an enemy. Alright. Another one of those. All you do here is move to the right. It's not like other Shantae games or Metrovanias where it's like, where the fuck do I go? Fortunately. Let's get some money, do some laundering with the money. And you have to swim here, but it's just a test, but I'm not doing that. No, wait, I'll go back and show you what it says. So you can't, like, go to the bottom there. Press jump repeatedly, swim, hold up to swim, and ascend higher. When you're at the bottom of the body of water, you will not sink. Alright. Let's grab. What the hell? I got out there. Not the first time, alright? Alright, there we go. Think of that. Yep. Fuck me, I'm on low health. I'm on... Sh shit health, alright. Okay. Firstly, we're gonna send here. And we will save the game with the Sage of Save. Not the green Santa Claus guy, unfortunately. So last time we did that, we... Did it like that, and it was like for one, all right? Yeah, here. That was what I did. It is I. Yes, and I'm gonna go to Safar Four again because that was the last episode where the audio was all fucked, and I'm pretty sure you can hear this just fine now. If the game isn't that loud, then that should be fine as well, but. Yeah, at least you can hear my vo my voice, my beautiful, sexy voice. I'm much clearer now. Compared to when you heard me last. And we're like, eight minutes in this recording. Nine minutes. That's great. No game overs on the save file yet. Well, that's because I had to reset. Right, we talk to these guys. Pirates, pirates, Josie, pirates. Yep. 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 All right, yeah, motherfucker. Risky boots. Oh, this fucking bitch. Again, I hate her. Well, well, if it isn't half Jenny Brett and <laughs> a cousin. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god, this is ass. Is she a friend of yours? No exactly. Hi there, my name is Asha, nice to meet you. Miss Pirate. Asha, what are you doing? What? I'm just being polite. <laughs> At least someone knows how to show some respect, Reddy. Unlike the freaking AI in Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. <laughs> Besides, I'm not in the mood to fight you anyways. Huh, why's that? Take a look around. These ears aren't the same as ours, correct? You mean, you can tell? 
They don't call me the queen of the seven seas for nothing, little girl. <laughs> By the way, what are you doing here exactly? Now we're talking. There I was sailing around Skull Town, when all of a sudden, a strange light swallowed us up. Next thing you know, here we are in the absolute middle of nowhere. Just when we just where are we anyway? Justin Astro explained to Risky where they were. So that's your story, eh? It's the truth. I believe you. Anyways, I'll be sending you around. You mean you're not come with us? Sorry, but I'd like to do some Ta -ta. exploring myself. Ta-ta now, in case you heard that. Suit yourself. Let's go, Asha. Oh, I hate this. I hate this chick. I don't like her. Okay. The equivalent of Bo Right Show and Mortal Kombat. The Deadly Alliance. Or whatever that game was. Risky Boots Pirate Ship. And this is the end of the area, because if you see there's a door there. But if you go here, there's a treasure chest. Procure the star fruit when Ian is believed to make dreams come true. Okay. Let's go there. Return to the Grand Cathedral. Yes, we will. And there's a synth synthesizing thing here, but I'm going to heal up. Just to... Make sure. A prayer was offered to the gods, HP and AP are restored, alright? Now last time I saved was like over there, alright? And I'm gonna save there again. Just so we can do that. That area is extremely short, alright? One of the quickest areas in the game. Alright. And we're like 12 minutes in. I think this was the same amount of time I did my first playthrough. My first run of this, where the audio is all screwed, so this is my second take of the um, playthrough video here. Fortunately. Let's go back into the area, because I think the next area was Peplogu Forest. Papalugu Forest, enter it, yes. It, world 2 out of 12. Papalugu Forest. Welcome to Papalugu Forest, travelers. Who said that? Well, I did, of course. A hey, to talking Papalugu, I must be going come here, little one. Hey, I'm not that little. Come on now, don't be shy. Ask to remember what we came here for. All right. And what would that be? We came here for a Mystic League, do you have one? Why, yes we do. We'd love to give it to you, but there's a problem. What would that be? A nasty monster's been gobbling up the Peplugas and we can't stop it. No, that's terrible. We have to stop it, shan't I? That sounds rather serious. Where can we find this monster? It's deep in the forest. I've seen it with my own eyes. But how do we get there? If you go away from here, you'll eventually pass through Peplugu village. Go past the village and you'll find the monster's nest. By the way, why not pay our leader a visit when you reach the village? Her name is Papai. Chances are she's already since your presence the moment you entered the forest. Gotcha. Bye now. Safe travels. Okay, that's that. New bonds. I'm not going to worry about bonds, okay? Until like much, much later, because that was a problem I had. And that just dragged the video out way too long, right? And I think I already did some bonds there, but since I had to go back to like my old file, and um, go back to where I was because I screwed up. It was kind of shitty, right? So here's platform basics. Nothing too fancy. Just get that thing. Just wait for the platforms. But I'm gonna kill this fuck. That was easy. I went to like a really hard world. I think it was AGSC. Got five herbs. Alright. What the hell? I think when you get ten of those blue things, I forgot what they were called. Yeah, you, you get extra HP. Upgrades. This is really good. Checkpoint. This is where I was last time. Oh shit, I'm on low health. Alright. I don't know, man. Pretty nice game, but I'm gonna kill as many enemies. I'm a, I'm a mass murderer. 
I do brutalities and fatalities on my opponents when I finish them off. It's, there should really be finishing moves in this game. It's like really, really great. I'm gonna turn the volume down here because that is like extremely loud. And uh, that's gonna fuck up the audio, okay? But it's not gonna be as bad, all right? Another one of those. Wait, was there something back down there or? No way, I think it was, I'm just messing around. All right, there's a dream gate there. Show me the ropes. Oh, you can't do the, uh, you can't do jumping tricks. That's kind of fucked. All right. What the hell? That's bullshit, all right? You should just be able to hold up and automatically cling onto the rope. What the hell? Oh, you can do the trick, but you gotta push up at the specific time, all right? A uh, bit of a hard one, but not too offensive. Alright, got two HP. Yep, heal that, and I'll synth as well. Close your eyes and relax. Need three for that. Increase the amount of SP gained when damaged. I think I did that in the last, in my um, other take of the rope. Okay. Now wait for this platform to get there. Fucking can be a bit of an impatient guy sometimes when I play platformers. I just have zero patience for this shit, alright? Alright. Holy shit. You have like a heavy kick when you hold up and push the attack button. Alright. Now we're freaking Liu Kang. Or Chun Li or whoever. Nah, Chun Li's from Street Fighter. Pepelogu Village. Alright, new locations available for fast travel. It's hard to believe Pepelogus were once hunted for their magic. I didn't think Pepelogus could be other colours besides blue and yellow. Welcome to Pepelogu Village. Alright, I know there's a save motherfucker somewhere, but ZZZ. Alright, they're sleeping. Get some coins. Cut the coins like it's Mario. Alright, who's her? She. Ah, oh, that's Papai. Hello there, I'm Papai and I love Peplogus, but recently my Peplogus went missing. There are seven in total and each one is a different colour. If you don't mind, could you find them for me? Yes, I do mind. Not at, not at all. You will? Oh, thanks. When you find one, they'll be on their way home. I'm counting on you. The quest of Peplogu Panic has been activated. Alright. So I'm going to save the game and end it off there because that was where I ended it there. Save. And we'll just quit the game. Um, hopefully the audio in this is much better. The audio for me is much better than it was before, but... Alright, that's going to be it. I've been here for like 20 minutes. 19 minutes. So thanks for watching this, and make sure to vote in the poll which series do you prefer more, Shantae Nasha or Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And that's going to be it for me, so see you guys later in part 5. When we get to it, I'm out.